The 57th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, composed of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from March 4, 1901, to March 4, 1903, during the final six months of U.S. President William McKinley's presidency, and the first year and a half of the first administration of his successor, U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the 11th Census of the United States in 1890. Both chambers had a Republican majority. Major events September 6, 1901, Leon Cholgosh shot President William McKinley at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York September 14, 1901, President William McKinley died. Vice President Theodore Roosevelt became President of the United States October 16, 1901, President Roosevelt invited African-American leader Booker T. Washington to the White House. The American South reacted angrily to the visit, and racial violence increased in the region. December 3, 1901, President Roosevelt delivered a 20,000-word speech to the House of Representatives, asking Congress to curb the power of trusts, within reasonable limits. February 22, 1902, Senators Benjamin Tillman and John L. McLaurin, both of South Carolina, have a fist fight while Congress is in session. Both Tillman and McLaurin were later censured by the Senate on February 28. June 2, 1902, the anthracite coal strike by the United Mine Workers began, continuing until October 21, 1902. July 4, 1902, the Philippine-American War ended. Topic. Major legislation June 17, 1902, Newlands Reclamation Act June 28, 1902, Isthmian Canal Act Panama Canal, Cess, 1, CH, 1302, 32 Stat. 481 January 21, 1903, Militia Act of 1903 Dick Act, 32 Stat. 775 February 11, 1903, Expediting Act, Cess, 2, ch. 544, 32 Stat. 823 February 19, 1903, Elkins Act March 3, 1903, Immigration Act of 1903, including Section 39, the Anarchist Exclusion Act. Party summary Topic. Senate Note, Fred T. Dubois Idaho was elected as a Silver Republican, but changed parties to Democratic after this Congress began. Topic. House of Representatives Democratic, 151 Republican, 200 Majority Populist, 5 Silver, Silver Republican, one TOTAL members, three hundred fifty seven. Topic Leadership Topic Senate President Theodore Roosevelt, R, until September fourteenth, nineteen oh one, vacant thereafter. President pro tempore, William P. Fry R. Democratic Caucus Chairman, James K. Jones D. Republican Conference Chairman, William B. Allison R. Topic. House of Representatives Speaker, David B. Henderson R. Democratic Caucus Chairman, James Hay D. Republican Conference Chairman, Joseph G. Cannon, R. Topic. Majority Republican leadership Majority Leader, Sereno E. Payne Majority Whip, James A. Taney 
Topic: Minority Democratic Leadership. Minority Leader James D. Richardson. Minority Whip James T. Lloyd. Topic: Members. This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed by class, and representatives are listed by district. Skip to House of Representatives, below. Topic. Senate At this time, senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. The Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election, precede the names in the list below. In this Congress, Class I meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re-election in 1904, Class II meant their term began with this Congress, requiring re-election in 1906, and Class III meant their term ended with this Congress, requiring re-election in 1902. <laughs> House of Representatives Topic. Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Topic. Senate Note, Delaware's Class I Senate seat remained vacant for entire Congress due to the legislature's failure to elect. Replacements, four. Democratic, one seat gain. Republican, three seat gain. Populist, one seat loss. Deaths, three. Resignations, zero. Vacancy, one. Total seats with changes, six. Topic: <laughs> House of Representatives. Replacements, seventeen. Democratic, three seat loss. Republican, three seat gain. Deaths, 14. Resignations, 5. Contested elections, 2. Total seats with changes, 24. Topic: Committees. Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official congressional directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link four links. In the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, Select and Special and Joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House, Senate committee assignments in the directory, on the committees section of the House and Senate in the official congressional directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side show Shows the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. Topic: <inaudible> Senate. Additional accommodations for the Library of Congress select Agriculture and Forestry, Appropriations, Audit and Control the contingent expenses of the Senate, Canadian Relations, Census Civil Service and Retrenchment Claims Coast and Insular Survey Coast Defenses Commerce Corporations organized in the District of Columbia Cuban Relations Distributing Public Revenue among the States select District of Columbia Education and Labor Engrossed Bills Enrolled Bills Establish a university in the United States select. Examine the several branches in the civil service Expenditures in executive departments Finance Fisheries Five civilized tribes of Indians select. Foreign relations Forest reservations and the protection of game Geological survey Immigration Immigration and naturalization Indian affairs Industrial expositions Interoceanic canals Interstate commerce Irrigation and reclamation Judiciary Library Manufactures 
Military affairs Mines and mining Mississippi River and its tributaries select National banks select Naval affairs Pacific Islands and Puerto Rico Pacific railroads Patents Pensions Philippines Post office and post roads Potomac River front select Printing Private land claims Privileges and elections Public buildings and grounds Public health and national quarantine Public lands Railroads Revision of the laws Revolutionary claims Rules Standards, weights and measures select Territories Transportation and sale of meat products select Transportation routes to the seaboard Whole Woman suffrage select Topic. House of Representatives Accounts Agriculture Alcoholic liquor traffic Appropriations Banking and currency Census Claims Coinage, weights and measures Disposition of executive papers District of Columbia Education Election of the President, Vice President and Representatives in Congress Elections Enrolled bills Expenditures in the Agriculture Department Expenditures in the Interior Department Expenditures in the Justice Department Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the State Department Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department Expenditures on Public Buildings Foreign Affairs Immigration and Naturalization Indian Affairs Insular Affairs Interstate and Foreign Commerce Invalid Pensions Irrigation of Arid Lands Labor Levies and Improvements of the Mississippi River Manufactures Merchant Marine and Fisheries Mileage Military affairs Militia Mines and mining Naval affairs Pacific railroads Patents Pensions Post office and post roads Public buildings and grounds Public lands Railways and canals Reform in the civil service Revision of laws Rivers and harbors Rules Standards of official conduct Territories Ventilation and acoustics War claims Ways and means Whole Topic. Joint committees Conditions of Indian tribes special. Disposition of useless executive papers Topic. Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Topic. Employees Architect of the Capitol, Edward Clark, died January 6, 1902. Elliot Woods, appointed February 19, 1902. Librarian of Congress, Herbert Putnam Public Printer of the United States, Frank W. Palmer Senate Secretary, Charles G. Bennett Sergeant-at-Arms, Daniel M. Ransdell Chaplain, William H. Milburn, Methodist F.J. Prettyman, Methodist, elected December 2, 1902. Topic: <laughs> House of Representatives. Clerk: Alexander McDowell. Sergeant at Arms: Henry Casson. Doorkeeper: William J. Glenn. Postmaster: Joseph C. McElroy. Reading clerks: Data unknown, missing. Clerk, Asher C. Hines Chaplain, Henry N. 
Coden, Universalist. Topic. See also. United States elections, 1900 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election, 1900 United States Senate elections, 1900 United States House of Representatives elections, 1900 United States elections, 1902 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections, 1902 United States House of Representatives elections, 1902